Hello my crazy beautiful Verticonians, Vertico here once again for another episode of Jurassic World the game and boy are we in for it this time. Um, basically guys, I've um, I got quite a bit of my bucks back from Tapjoy. I was actually at 18,000, I know I've dropped by 5,000 but I have good reason guys. Um, where are we? I've got the Diplodocus up to level 40, ready for when I get some, when I, uh, after these tournaments, I'll focus on getting my hybrids such as the Ankylosaur and the Stegosaurus as well, so that we can get the Ankylodocus and Stegoceratops. So that's something I'm working towards, so uh, rest assured guys, you'll see them in the series in the future. Also, I've got my Sarko up to level 40, my Pteranodon up to level 30, and there was one other thing, but I can't remember what it was. <laughs> so I've spent my bucks on pretty reasonable things, guys. Um, at the end of the day, I've uh, just planned on really boosting my team as we get closer toward the end of this tournament. I'm still quite high up in Predator League. In fact, yesterday, I smashed through to, like, the top bottom 10... Uh, top, <laughs> yeah, bottom 10 of the Ceratosaurus tournament in Dominator, and then just randomly... They picked up speed. Um, like, they slowed down massively, then they picked up speed. Guys, we're going to be doing our race again today, guys. You know the drill by now. If you don't already and you are new, I'll break it down for you. What we have to do is del I have to delete two of these bad boys in the time it takes you to like the video. You need to be in full screen for it to count. You can change the playback speed to slower or faster, depending on the difficulty you want to go for. If you're new to the game, feel free to slow it down. But if you're getting good at it, make sure you speed it up and try and beat me on the second two times speed. Playback speed is available at the bottom right corner on the YouTube settings. Right. Let's go ahead and get this go. It's starting in three, two, one, go. That's one done, and that's two done. That's probably one of the quickest I've ever done, guys. So if you beat me, hats off. Definitely deserve a prize of some prize of some description. A prize of some description, guys. You've seen the title of this thumbnail. Uh, title of this, this the title of the thumbnail. The title of this video. You've seen the thumbnail. You know what it means. Oh, that hurt me inside, but not as much as it's going to hurt my opponents. We're going for the level 30 Trudon. That's right. The big, tiny wolf. <laughs> well, no, not the big, tiny wolf. It'd be a tiny, bad wolf. Not the big, bad wolf. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying. Let's work on it. Um, Right. Okay. You can see how beautiful this is. I'm trying to be very careful with my taps, like, right now, because no matter what I do, the taps are still being picked up, whereas previously they weren't in Shout TV. So I'm being very careful with them. Um, if they're still being picked up, I must apologise. I'll work on it in the future. I'm really actually getting Elgato. Either this paycheck, I don't know yet. I'm just I'm debating it. Or next paycheck. And with that, that allows me to do webcam as well. So you'll be able to see my lovely face. I'll get I'll, uh, commission Spoon Ducks again as long as he is free for commissions. <laughs> I hope he is. For um, the borders and the other things such as maybe... I'm thinking of getting a board, which I can have writing on. Uh, or I can add writing too, and um, ask for some. I'll ask for some like suggestions from fonts for him or something. Just so that we have our daily questions and our race. Um, sort of. I might even put up um, like our best comment on the day or something like that from uh, the previous video or something in there as well. I'm I'm thinking about what to do for it. I'm thinking maybe like having a small hub essentially. Uh, maybe even showing off my current dinos or my top dinos. Or I don't know. I really want to work with it, guys, and I want to see what you guys think of it. So. Anyway, let's get to level tw level 30. I want to take it to level 30. I've uh, 40. I've not got nowhere near enough DNA. No, I've got enough bucks, I guess. Uh, actually, no, I haven't. <laughs> yes, I have, actually. Just about, but um, I, I'd be teetering it for Ceratosaurus then and the tournaments. So it's not worth it. Because level 30 doesn't really look that much different, guys. Look from left to right, and all you can see is there is more red. Literally, that is all you can see. Uh, I was ready to sacrifice a lot of coins here, a lot of coins, bucks, and DNA, so it's all fine. Um, I did waste a bit more than I should have on my Sarko, though. It was 120 per time, and I did, like, five times. Oh, I was stupid. I should have just left it overnight. But hey-ho, we'll deal with that at another point. Right, so not much difference at all. Don't get me wrong, I love the Trudon, but I want to see it at level 30 because, 40, because if you guys... I don't know if it's going to show me. Let me see it. Um, let me see if I try it. I don't think it will. Uh, please show me what it looks like. Cause, like, it's got, like, a massive sort of Vegeta horn. <laughs> right. No, it's not going to show me. Damn it. Um, what if I click that? No, it's also still not going to show me. Damn it. Right, so I'm going under the assumption that Ceratosaurus is going to cost 7,500. It's a health It's a health tank, whereas this is a uh, glass cannon. So they'll complement each other quite nicely. Um, but as you can see, the sound's once again off, guys. That's because I'm trying to see if that's affecting the tapping. If it's not... I'm screwed either way, <laughs> and I'll just put it back on, um, but I'm trying it for this episode. Um, down to 12,000 bucks, that's still plenty, 
for what I need to do. As for that, I'm not going to just keep nothing in there because I've got just under two days, um, essentially, because I'm going to have to stick the Ceratosaurus in straight away, but I'm not going to hatch it that morning. I'm going to hatch it when I get back from work. So I'm also going to put it in that exact morning. So I'm not spending as much bucks. It'll only be like 100 saved, if not even that, probably. Uh, but hey-ho. So we need to get some... Um, get as much as possible in here that will take about two days so let's think about it we've got a prior two pranas uh prionotucus will be pretty useful dimorphodon won't be i've already got level 40 two scappies might be okay um i'm looking for something that mo has multiple uh unisaurus i've already got level 30 i level 20 wouldn't be that good shunosaurus i've got all oh, that's something shunosaurus i've got level 30 now uh, Therizinosaurus, I've not got any of, but they're not good attacks. I'm looking for things with heavy attack, essentially. Tyrannosaurus Rex is a bit of a meh. Dimetrodon, if I had two, I would. Ostrificker, I'm thinking about because I've already got a um, Ostrificker ready. So if I stick Ostrificker out there, we'll also stick the two Prioners. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And what's the other one? Uh, other Priona, yeah. Don't know what to stick in the third one, the fourth and final one. I know it's going to cost me 50 bucks either way. So I'm thinking I'll stick down the Ostrificosaurus. Actually, I've already picked him, haven't I? <laughs> Fantastic memory right there. I've got loads of Sucumimuses again, which is ugh, just going to become a hassle. I'm thinking I'll stick out the Dimetrodon just because of that way I've got the Dimetrodon down and in for the count. I've been doing a few infinity, bat infinity battles. I got three last night, legendary-wise. Uh, so that's pretty useful for the DNA and Bucks in some cases. I actually replenished a lot of my Bucks. Um, so my Bucks would be a lot lower now if it wasn't for that. Uh, right, so what we'll do now is we've got a tournament to win. The You can see that there's a Monsters of the Deep. I'm not really fussed about doing aquatic things at the moment, guys, until uh, we really get past this tournament. That's why you've noticed there's no aquatic park episodes at the moment, just the normal park, and that's the reason why. So we'll go ahead and start this. Oh, Trudon's my most powerful thing. That is incredible. I'm so chuffed with that, but I'm not looking forward to it. It's recharge time. Right, what we'll do... So we'll start it off with a pretty measly battle of Spino, Antarctico, Tropio, and we'll get that go, go, going. I'm hoping after Ceratosaurus, because Ceratosaurus is a, a health tank, I'm going to go for two. I'm going to speed up one. I don't know if I'll speed up the second one. I probably won't speed up the second one. I'll get one free. I'll put another one in. I'll speed up the first one, and then I'll wait for the other ones to come close before I even contemplate speeding it up. Then, I'm going to get another two Antarctic Pelters, unless the next tournament starts on Friday. You guys are thinking, oh, but there shouldn't be another tournament. What are you want about, uh, Vertigo? Well, here's my theory. I've said this several times in the descriptions. So I'm probably going to say it audibly in the video now, and that is the next... Oh, wow, I might actually get an advantage straight away. Fantastic. Um, The next tournament creature, my prediction, is Mosasaurus. You're like, but hang on, Mosasaurus has already gone, but you've got eight other creatures to be before repeat anything. No. Mosasaurus was a limited edition aquatic creature. I think they need to. I think they're going to do it again because, of course, the hybrids for aquatics are on the way as well. And if one of them includes Mosasaurus, it's going to be very, very restricted for a lot of people, which won't be happy. Don't cry. Blah blah blah. Me being one of them, more than likely. So offering the Mosasaurus again will be the most sense because people who've already got Mosasaurus can spend that time grabbing DNA building on the infinity battle, or doing missions if they're lower level, and it will really, really help them towards what they need to do. And whereas that's for those who, do, like me, Bog, and other people who don't have Mosasaurus, it gives us a chance to really work towards getting it. And at the end of the day, getting a Mosasaurus is going to cause no tears on my end because it's another tournament creature. It's a great tournament pack, great tournament environment. And I'm happy to do it at the end of the day, and I want to win it. <laughs> And then they'll release aquatic hybrids about a week, two weeks later, between a lot of events. They'll probably build up loads of events, but there won't be any tournaments from that. And then a couple of weeks after that again, they'll start the tournaments all up again, but this time with the new tournament creatures. I only have one plea. If anyone from Ludia is watching, which I doubt, but if you were, please, we have got no amphibian and no pterosaur tournament creatures. Change that. <laughs> Just change it. We need, like... I mean, if you're looking for sort of pterosaurs, I mean, we've, I know we've basically looked all around the crest by the looks of it. We, we've got most of them about, but there's got to be one or two of them out there that's really, 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 you know, unique, especially for the tournament. Don't get me wrong, I'm looking forward to the tournament creatures. The Pachyronosaurus is definitely, definitely going to be mine. I'm going to claim that fast, and you can blink an eye. I mean, I've been fighting it in the Infinity Battle, and it looks drop-dead gorgeous. Right, um, right, so we'll go for... 
Dymo, the Morphodon, Sarko, and T Rex. Next, we'll go for Shino and uh, Indominus, and then something else. And then the final battle, we'll finish off with our Trodon, who I'm looking forward to using as a glass cannon. Right, okay, we've got a pretty good match out, out here. Only thing I've got to worry about is the Scappy, but I can take care of that with either T Rex or my Morphodon, depending on how this plays out. He's probably going to switch out now. Yeah, as I expected. Two Scappy, in fact, which is the one I was worried about. Um, right, so he's got one block or one reserve. Probably gone for reserve, yep, yeah, nailed it. He's got three. He can kill me in three, uh, but he won't go for three. He won't go for it unless he knows, like, he got a chance. He's got a chance in the next lot, sort of, battle over as well. What I'm doing is going to build four reserves and two blocks. He can't kill me at this point in time because he went for full-out blocks. Um, he's probably gone for two blocks here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and make sure I can wipe him first. So we need three to kill him, five and three reserves. If he kills me with the, um, what's that called? I think it's not the Microposaurus. Is it Microposaurus? Probably Microposaurus. Yeah, Microposaurus. If he kills me, which he would need to use all of his attacks right now, and that might not even be a switch. There we go, switches. There we go. Um, it's a six. He can kill me. There we go. Right, bing, bang, bong. Um, he, so he kills me. I'm now going to put in my Sarcosuchus for his... Because he's used all his attacks, I just need to go for two. I need to survive this. So if I go for two blocks and three reserves, it, even I know I, I want to survive with my Sarko, but even if I don't and I have to rely on my T-Rex, I know he can take him out with that many attacks. It'll be easy. He can't kill me with two attacks anyway, so I have won the game. Right. Or game, battle, war, who cares. <laughs> Uh, right, my next objective over the next couple of uh, nights are just keep doing these battles constantly like I have been. Next couple of nights, tonight and tomorrow. Um, all the way up to tomorrow night, where I'm going to do a push, a nice little buck push as well. Just my lower, mid, lower and high levels. And um, just basically sort of even it out throughout the night. And then set an alarm for four o'clock in the morning. Again, finish the battles off. And um, basically, I like to be able to say I'm comfortable in... Um, Oh, rat, 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 there we go, rat pack. <laughs> um, I like to be comfortable in where I am when the battle happens. So um, when I like, wake up at four, I'd like to know I'm in like, 100 and Dominator. And then even if I win a battle every five minutes, I'm going to be pushing them back anyway, so they won't be able to catch up, so it doesn't matter. So it's all good. Right. This is taking a lot more battles to get back to where I needed to be than I thought it would be, to be fair. Um, so Indominus, we need Shino, Indominus, and Pteranodon. Right. Next up, we'll stick Ichthyostega, Trudon, and whatever's next to Ichthyostega, <laughs> which I think is my Microposaurus, level 30. I think. Right, so he's got Ichthy, Demetra. Right, I've got a perfect team, just in the wrong order. So, essentially, I ain't got to worry about that trophy because I can take care of it with the Indominus or the thing. What I need to be careful now is I've got to build up some reserves to get rid of this Ichthyostega because he can really do some damage to my Indominus, which is my key winner here. So... Let's go for three. I've just realised I've not been careful with a tap in until now, which means I was at some point, and now I'm going to be again. So I'm just using like the very, very soft part of my finger, right at the very tip. <laughs> um, right, so let's go for four. What? Do you guys see that? Okay, this has been happening to me a lot in this tournament. I'm so glad I've recorded it now. Okay, that is absolute horsecock, and I'm calling that bullshit. And I'm I'm going to say that because that is ridiculous. It has happened so much in this tournament. It just glitches out and I lose all of my attacks. And the opponent knows I have. It usually, in all honesty, happens to the Pteranodon. I thought it was actually a glitch with this creature. Um, but it keeps and keeps happening. And it's infuriating because it is cheating. I'll pass it on to Ludia and demand at least 50,000 DNA. <laughs> right, now I'm screwed because I'm honestly, if that Shinosaurus had reserved that, I'd been fine. But at this point, I'm screwed. I'm literally screwed, so, two, three, um, yeah, of course he can survive that, so I'll go for two and two, doesn't matter, because he's, he's, as long as he's got Ezekiel Stega, I'm screwed anyway, um, I'm absolutely fuming, to say the least, with that, right, I really hope it doesn't happen in the next battle, or Ludia will be having some very, very stern words sent to them, um, yeah, so he's got, uh, please, if he goes for three, or if Ludia want to make it up to me right now, and make him not attack. Ludia, you are forgiven. You are forgiven, my son. Yes! Yes! <laughs> right, okay. There's me giving it all the big what for, and then that happens. Admittedly, in the other ones, none of them that has never happened, but 
Uh, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> right, two, three, four, two. Right, they're, they're quite close together once again. So if I can win like three or four battles, I'm in a really comfortable position again. So dominate league. Let's give it three seconds and press it. Oh, you teasing d bags! Could you imagine if I won that? Like, I could you imagine? I'd have just like cut out 95% of the rest of the video, stuck it on them like Ceratosaurus tags, Ceratosaurus, Ceratosaurus winning, Ceratosaurus packer opening. <laughs> right, so Trudon, you are here and going to be true with us. <laughs> I'm going to hell, I know. Um, stick Ickley in. Actually, no, because Ickley can be fallen afoul to a flying sir. Let's do that. Righty tighty whities. Um, I love how he's got like low, a decent amount of health and killer attack. Like I love the Trudon. I can't wait to get the Pachyrannosaurus as well. The second, I, I mean, all of them look amazing. All the new ones. I'm really sad I didn't start doing and focus on the tournaments before because it's something I really should be doing. But it's gonna be something I'm doing in the future, guys. So deny a panic. All right. Okay. Let's get this going. Go. Let's finish this battle and we'll finish the video. So it's all good. One. Okay. He can't kill me. Uh, if he goes for another attack, he can. Hopefully he'll go for two, though. So it's all good. Although I'd like for this guy to survive. <laughs> because with the fact we're dealing with two carnivores. And I did just realise that. And so has he. That's why he's going to attack two. There we go. When they realise that they're at a disadvantage, they will get rid of their um the, the thing that's disadvantaging them without caring about it, essentially. So it's, it's smart in that way, but it's infuriating. So if we get rid of this guy, because he's gone full out, go two reserves... He has to kill me with two attacks. Two attacks. Oh, yep, two attacks. Right, so he has to go for four. On his mind, he has to go for four. But he knows that he doesn't need to, so he'll go for three. One. So he'll go for one. Right, okay. That's fine by me. Um, <laughs> so he went for one. I have no idea what he's gone for then, essentially. Um, I'm going to go for two blocks because I, I, I was going to say he's probably gone for two blocks anyway, so... He has to go for three to kill me, and even that leaves him at a disadvantage. So, he's gone for three, like he knew. He did. He knew he didn't have to go for four, which is horse cock. Right, let's go. I only need to kill him with two attacks, and he's got one block, so... Three, two reserves, and three blocks, because three blocks... Uh -huh, three blocks are just in case he decides um, to be pretty smart, because I think two attacks might be able to kill me at this point. Um, so I've gone for three, regardless of what happens next, he's gone for three as well, he's dead, right, okay, so this beautiful, beautiful Trudon is about to show me why I love him, <laughs> right, oh, rush, nailed it, <laughs> I'm the winner, <laughs> yes, you are my beauty little, beauty little dream, ah, oh, right, okay, continue, wait, why is it Predator? Wait, what? What the hell? Oh my god, that was weird. It showed Predator that I was in place 100. Then I get the Dominator League. Oh my god, these glitches, man. They're giving me brown trouser moments to the very max. Okay, let me just make sure I am definitely in Dominator. Let me back out. Back in. Yeah, definitely in Dominator. Definitely in Dominator. Whew. Okay, right, we're going to finish the video there, guys. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like down below. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and join my for people. And if you didn't enjoy the video, feel free to dislike. But you tell me why. Thanks, guys, for watching. Have a nice day. And hurrah!